So I'm here in Inteba with uh, three special guests. Uh, the first one is uh, Nobert, is that right? Yeah, right. Exactly. The second one is Manfred, or yep, that's yeah, it. that's, that's it. number two. And that's number it. three is Mr. John, exactly. or Dr. John. Please, uh, we just heard a great story. You guys were very impressed. Yes, uh, actually the story was uh, very inspiring. Mm -hmm. It starts from a, a very rural setting to a very uh, professional way because of uh, the guy presenta presentation was uh, the, the way uh, he dealt with the poor women in Islam and connecting uh, ICT mm -hmm. uh, professionalism for, 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 for improvement of safe delivery mm -hmm. in his project. That mm -hmm. is, it's a, it's a very, it's a brilliant story mm -hmm. and we liked it yeah. very much. So ma maybe just a recap of the story for the people who haven't heard it. Um, basically, he started as a medical student yeah. and set out to improve the quality of life of rural women mm -hmm. who are very poor. And he trained uh, um, women to diagnose basic ailments at the, at the rural setting uh, with assistance of other student, medical students who are no income, whatever, and uh, basically using, um, what do you call it, um, Excel to manage the records. Mm -hmm. He found that as a problem, and so called in an ICT professional who said, hey man, uh, let's set up a system where we can use frontline SMS. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's great. Mm -hmm. SMS cuts down on cost of moving the records from one end to the other. Mm -hmm and also makes for easy management of the records. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm particularly moved by the fact that even though on no income, he stayed on to do this job until this day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And maybe if you want to add something to that? Yeah, I think my two colleagues have already said it all. Um, but for me, as a young medical student, all of who's working at Evan Ewe in a very big hospital, mm -hmm. decided with his colleagues to go into a rural community and work mm -hmm. with rural poor women Mm -hmm. Not only to take care of their health needs, but also to help them generate some income, so that in future they can access basic medical health care. Mm -hmm. I think it's a span out which that mm -hmm. all young and upcoming medical students and other people in other professions should, you know, do that. Mm -hmm. Particularly in this information technology world, where ICTs are available to help us do all kinds of jobs I want to do in a very efficient and effective way. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you guys. And uh, I, I too was very, very impressed. Yeah, yeah closing just, statements. Just, just, just a small thing uh, we saw from this story that it's, uh, and, and this is encouraging, it's just, it's just said, the creativity of young students, mm. which has ended up uh, provide improving uh, services, reducing the workload, yeah. and actually in general improving uh, poverty, in Islam, uh, this mm. is this is inspiring and everything. Yeah. It should be. And there should be more young people out there exactly making that choice. Being yeah, more innovative and more creative and making yeah. the choices. That's all. Okay, well, thanks, guys, and, and I hope you. And, oh, and whoa, me, one yes, more time, yes. yeah, yeah. It's an award-winning story. Award-winning story. <laughs> okay, <laughs> with that, thank you, guys. Yeah.